Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and welcome back to your Monday edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs where we will be giving you all the best and biggest and most important stories of the day. First up, a bit of a sad one really, Toby Alderweireld has done a piece uh, for the Evening Standard today where he's talked about how the terrorist attacks in France and all the terror raids in Belgium have affected him. In fact, he's told us that his brother is a police officer in Brussels and that it's just a really difficult time for him and his family at the moment. Now, obviously to me as a Spurs fan and having watched that fantastic victory yesterday, it just astonishes me how he has managed to play so brilliantly and uh, was just so fantastic yesterday on the pitch with all that going on in the background. The same goes for Hugo Lloris, of course, who was in the Stade de France when the bombs were detonated outside. And I really did get the feeling that yesterday the Spurs players put on a huge performance for those guys and it really showed how much togetherness there is in the squad. Toby, to you and your family, we just say, you know, good luck. Hopefully we'll come through it and everything will be all right. In other news today, in the Inside Football website have said that Alexander Pato's agents are in London to finalise a deal to Tottenham Hotspur for £10 million or thereabouts. Now this, of course, is a rumour that hasn't gone away to the point where, even though at the start I thought it probably didn't have much truth in it, now I do wonder whether maybe he is going to become the backup to Harry Kane and the striker that we've been needing to buy ever since we failed to get Berahino back in the summer. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Obviously back in the day Pato was a real talent and was brilliant for AC Milan. He's kind of brought his career back somewhat in Brazil at the moment. He scored something like 25 in 58 games over there. But to me, I wonder whether he has the stature, the physical presence to really do what we need when we play that one man up front and if Harry Kane isn't available or is being rested by Poch. Anyway, like I said, let us know in the comments section what you think. And I mentioned Berahino uh, earlier on. ITV are reporting today that it's not just us going back in for him in January. Also, Manchester United are apparently interested in getting him as well. I wonder if that's because they know there's no point bidding for Harry Kane. There are some rumours going around again that they're interested in Harry Kane, but I think we all know Daniel Levy won't countenance any of those. That won't be going on. So uh, the rumoured fee for Berahino now is about 25 million quid. Presumably if Levy's going to bid again, he'll bid a pound up front with the rest to be paid over the, over the course of about 10 or 15 years. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below about those news stories. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on you Spurs. And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a bit